Hi everyone, it's Retro Luck here, and today we're going to be playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now this isn't usually a game I'd play, it's a little too cutesy for my liking, but a lot of my friends have been playing this right now, and have been saying it's absolutely amazing, so I really wanted to give it a go. I wasn't actually going to buy it for release, but my sister-in-law decided to buy it for my wife for her birthday, so the only logical solution was for me to play it while she's hard working. So let's jump right in and see what it's all about. I'm probably just going to play the intro today and get acquainted with the controls and the, the gameplay and see what we think. Okay. Good afternoon. We're so excited to have you here. Have you here? I don't know why they sound like that, they just do. And they've got some weird shining twin thing going on. We'll try and ignore that. Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Welcome to the check encounter for your deserted island getaway package. It might change a lot as well, I'm not great with this stuff. There is so much to look forward to, but first, let us introduce ourselves. I am Timmy with Nook Incorporated. And I am Tommy. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul, so let's get started, shall we? Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Birthday. That's going to be freaky. Okay, um, so I am gonna call myself Retro Licker. <sighs> okay, so I can't call myself Retro Licker because there's a uh, uh, there's a maximum space thing. So we could. I had to do this on the Switch as well. Retro Licker, like that. Um, but I, I don't like that, so we'll just go with with my name. I am Chris. But this is the thing with games like this. And they always have like a limitation on how many characters you can put in. And Chris is quite a short name, but my, my full name is Christopher, and you wouldn't be able to fit that in here, which, you know, I, I don't go by Christopher, only my, my dad and my brother call me Christopher. And my wife, if she's mad at me. <laughs> so uh, we'll we'll go with Chris. That's definitely how we spell my name. <laughs> it's so funny, like you've spelled your name your entire life, but it suddenly comes to something like this, and you triple check it and see if it's right. Okay. Birthday. My birthday is the seventh of December. Uh, is December the seventh your birthday? It is. Chris! Chris! Let's see! Oh yes, here you are! Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Chris! Oh, don't worry, take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We'll be ready when you are, you are. Okay, choose your style. I will be a boy. Oh dear. Okay, um... Like most gamers, I'm pale as hell, so we'll be the palest skin color you can be. Um, hairstyles. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, someone will have to let me know in the comments that hopefully there's more than these four styles because uh, this is very limited. Let's have a look at them all though. <laughs> Not for me, I don't think. But I suit pigtails. Um, <laughs> uh, mm, that's kind of like my hair, but not quite. <laughs> I think we'll just go for that one. It, mine kind of looks like that when it's down, I guess. They don't have a lot of options on the colors either. Someone again will have to let me know. Can you unlock other colors later on? Because obviously my hair is blue right now. My hair is usually gray if it's not blue, so... Not that one, this one. So we'll go with that, I think. I'd not reckon much to these clothes either. Okay, we'll go with that one for that. Eyes. Uh, okay. 
<laughs> They're a bit scary. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't really want girly eyes. That's... It's like making you a me character all over again. They're a little scary. Okay, I, I like those. Uh, I have brown eyes. There we go. Smile. Oh, nose. I'll have a little triangle nose, I think. And a big smile. <laughs> Not that one. Yeah, I, li I like that one. That's good. Okay. Uh, let me see cheeks. Uh, no, I, I don't think so. We're good. Can you have beards in the game? That, uh, I've not seen that yet. Maybe, maybe not. Someone let me know. Okay. Uh, so let's just double check everything, shall we? Uh, pale skin. Young boy hair. Those eyes. Triangle nose. No rosy cheeks. Confirm. Does this look okay? You can change your look later. Okay. Great, you're all set. All set. I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your personal records. And now, let's start talking about your new home. So exciting. Exciting. You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes, in fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. What I mean is, we have islands in both the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. Current home. So tell me, Chris, where do you live now? Live now. Okay. Uh, Europe. Ah, excellent. That information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. So naturally, we recommend that you relocate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. There are a few more decisions to make, but does that sound okay so far? So far. Uh, okay, Northern Hemisphere is fine. Very good. We have a number of lovely uninhabited islands in the Northern Hemisphere to choose from. Now then, all of our islands are approximately the same size, and they're all quite natural. So don't worry about whether you'll have enough space or comfort. You can't go wrong. Just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I'd do it. Yep. I'll show you some of the maps now, and you can choose the best one for your new home. New home. I don't even know if my voice has changed too much. <laughs> I like the look of this one. Okay. Is this the island you want? It is. Okay. Wonderful choice. Choice. I can't wait to show it off to you. Ah, but before we depart, I have just one final question for you. If you could only bring one thing to a deserted island, what would it be? What would it be? Uh, something to kill time. Sure. How interesting. Oh, I'm sorry, that was just a hypothetical question. Nook Incorporated will fully cover all of your basic needs. Yes, yes. Okay, that sounds like us. Ah, perfect timing. Come on, let's get all on board the plane together. Together. That's not gonna get annoying at all. Okay. Get to see a short video. That's a pretty big fly. Oh, that haircut looked okay. And there's that has blue. And this is green, so we should be able to get these things later. It seems like more of a sales pitch to me. Yeah, definitely a sales pitch. Okay, 
Okay, so we're being flown to the island and we're going to be stranded. Okay. We're here! Now, I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. We're heading there right now. If you'd like to move, let's look. Just follow us. These two seem well equipped. All right, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Cherry here? And how about Kid Cat? And there's Chris, of course. Great, we're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. Yes, yes, very good. Let's see, how shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. I don't know why he sounds like this. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook Incorporated. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island, so congratulations. And this is a package deal, hmm? A search Nook Incorporated staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But, first things first, yes, yes. I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in the construction and real estate. Is this guy in the mafia? And... Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Let's just start with the simple tent, shall we? Please collect your tent. <laughs> can't stop doing that. <laughs> Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy, and then choose a spot to place it. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I don't know which one you are. Here you go, Chris. Your very own tent. Once you find the perfect spot, press X to access your inventory, and then select your tent to place it. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. And you'll want a little extra breathing room, so take your time finding the space that works for you. Oh, I should probably set you up with a map too. Okay. Once you've put up your tent, please find your way back here and use your new map if you need it. Well, off you go. I hope you find a great spot. Okay, um... To have a run around, shall we? Oh. Ooh, I like that spot. It's away from everybody. <laughs> you come into a social simulator game and you just want to be as far away from everyone as possible. Oh, there's the cat. Okay. And there's the weird Spider Man goth dog. I like how you like doing a Naruto run as you as you run. That's uh, weird. Let's see how far we can get away from everyone. If I place it there, will it remove the trees or I just? Should I put my tent here? Yeah, I'm guessing it's gonna move the trees or I think that's enough. Let let me imagine it. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh yeah, they clear the trees out for you. Is this a good spot? Yeah, I think that's far enough away from the other inhabitants right now. Yeah. I set up my tent. That's a big first step. It is. All new river running. Here he is again. Ah, oh, Chris, you must have found a suitable spot for your tent, hmm? Well, the first one back, so I suppose the others must still be searching for just the right location. You know, since you've already done some scouting, the others may appreciate your assistance. Yes, yes. I don't know how inconsistent these voices are going to be. I'm terribly sorry. So, let's go and find... 
the cat was over here somewhere. Here we go. Yow! I'm Kid Cat! You're Chris, right? Nice to meet you! You already set up your tent? Eh? I'm still trying to find the perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's gonna have lots of fresh air. I think this spot will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, Chris? I think it sounds like I'm doing all the work here. Uh, this looks this looks good. Kid Cat. You think so? Awesome. Okay then, how about we do a little visualization exercise together? If I put my tent here... Pretty cool, right? It looks great to me. Cat. Alright! It looks like we have a winner! I'm gonna put down stakes right here and never look back! I don't know why you're pissing. That was a tough decision! You totally saved my glutes! <laughs> you totally saved my glutes! <laughs> oh. I wonder how that Sherry is doing. She might be having as much trouble as I was. So maybe you should go and see if she needs help. Maybe I should. See you later, cat in motorcycle helmet. You're, uh, wait, I got it. Don't tell me. You're Chris, right? See, I told you I had it. I'm Cherry. I gotta tell you, I'm excited to do this whole island thing. What? What? It's gonna be a bit of a moody goth dog, just look at it. <laughs> you already found a good spot, huh? I was trying to just feel for the best spot, but I was having trouble because Every spot feels like the best one. I couldn't just sit here thinking it over forever. So I grabbed a stick and threw it. This is where it landed. So now, this is my spot, okay? I know there's only so far I could throw the stick, but I'm liking this. It looks good to me, goth dog. For real? What? What? Well, if you're sure... Actually... Let's think about this a little. If I put my tent here... Looks nice, don't it? It sure does. It looks great. Awesome. From now on, this won't just be anywhere on the island. It's gonna be my home sweet home. I can't believe I got such an awesome spot. You rock. What? What? Hold up. Does this mean you helped Kid Cat with his tent too? Whoa. You're a seriously awesome person. I gotta be honest, when we first got here, I was kind of worried there were way too few of us. But if we get to live here with... If we get to live here with someone like you, I can totally rest easy. Oh, everyone else is probably waiting on us. So let's get back to the plaza. What? What? Ah, uh, I do apologize. Welcome back everyone! I hope you all found just the right spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while, hmm? Really get a feel for how it suits you. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like throwing an island warming party. We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. We'll just need a few supplies to get started, yes? Since we'll all be living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Let's see. Timmy, Jerry, 
Tommy and Kit Kat can set up things here at the plaza. Meanwhile, Chris and I will work on gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. All right, everyone, let's get to it. Chris, would you come see me for a moment? Of course, Tom. Whatever could you want? Okay. Ah, oh, Chris! I just wanted to go over what we need for the campfire. I think roughly ten tree branches should do the trick. You can find them scattered around the island. So when you find one lying on the ground, just press Y to pick it up. Meanwhile, I'll be investigating the orange-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real oranges. <laughs> I suspect they are, Tom. Okay, there's one. One. Oh good, Chris! It looks like you've managed to collect up the tree branches, hmm? You found even more than I asked! I only need ten! But I'm sure you'll find good use for the rest. I'm sure I will. I'll take what we need off your hands now. Yes, yes, that should be plenty for a campfire. You made quick work of that. I'm quite glad I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker. Ho ho! And speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like oranges, they smell like oranges, they even taste like oranges. In fact, they are 100%, without a doubt, genuine oranges. Will you collect six of them for me? Now I'm sure you don't need much guidance here, eh? but just in case, if you see trees growing oranges, you can press A to shake it. And then just pick the fruit up. I'm sure you'll have plenty of oranges for us all in no time. That sounds great, Tom. Um, what else are we going to eat on this island apart from oranges? And I noticed that once again I'm doing all the work. The cat is sweeping the mud. The dog is... Just picking up the sticks I found. Tom, Tommy and Timmy are just stood here. So, let's go and get some oranges for the hard workers. Ah, there we go. One, two, three. Oh, shit, that's a weed. Three. Okay, let's go back to giving the oranges, eh? Well, well, I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take those oranges off your hands and get started on the preparations. There you go, Tom. Oranges for you. Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Very nice. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen and perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman. Hmm. Oh -ho. Now we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisaged, you sweat in that, Tom. This sounds like a pyramid scheme to me. <laughs> but that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. You look pretty mad now. I, I we'll, we'll rise to the challenge, Tom. Please don't kill us on this deserted island. And I have no doubt that with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into my brand new tax haven. I mean, I suppose we can't call this deserted island anymore. Hmm, what should we call it? Oh, I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of this island, 
We should be the ones to name it. Tom, why do you look so angry, man? And in the spirit of democracy, we should put into a vote. Majority rules, hmm? So take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, present your ideas. Okay, a name for the island. Okay, I know what I'm calling my island. I'm calling my island Retrotopia. Retrotopia, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the best name for this island. Are you okay with Retrotopia? You're damn right. All right, is everyone ready? Let's try seeing our ideas all at the same time. Tom, that does not sound like a good idea. Ready, go! Retrotopia, Buffberg, Awesome Beach, Nooktopia. <laughs> what a splendid variety! Yes, yes, each one a potential gem. Now for the voting. I'll say each name in order, and you can clap for the one you think is best. Chris seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibilities. Tom, I've just called an island Retrotopia. That doesn't seem so sensible. Let's start there. So, Chris suggested... Retrotopia! <laughs> Woo! Whoa, that's an overwhelmingly positive response. Each and every one of you clapped. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Retrotopia. Well... Yeah, I guess we could. Let's not, let's not hear the other residents' ideas and, and clap for them. Splendid! Then, from now on, this island will be known as Retrotopia! Well, Chris, since you've proven yourself by naming Retrotopia, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we'll need to make on the island. Yes, yes, I, I hereby name you the resident representative of Retrotopia. Chris, could you please say a word or two as the new spokesperson for your neighbors? Howdy, a word or two, you can count me. A word or two. <laughs> Hmm, so we've settled on a name for our island, and we've selected our resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. I, d I don't have one. Everyone have a beverage in hand. It's fresh juice made from the oranges our new resident representative harvested on this very island. And without further ado, a toast to Retrotopia and the happiness of its residents. Cheers! Okay. <laughs> the cat is playing the tambourine, the dog is drinking juice, and Tom Nock and his children are stood there also doing stuff. Let's talk to the cat, shall we? I'm on vacation, but we should actually get to live here. <laughs> okay, good, good sound advice. I've never settled an island before. Retrotopia. This is gonna be rad. What? 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 Okay. Uh. We'll let this campfire burn for the rest of the night. Feel free to rest in your tent if you start to feel tired. Ah, before you do that though, there is something we need to give you. Please talk to Mr. Nook about it. We'll let this campfire... I, I, got, I got it, I got it. You said the exact same thing as the other one. It's, it's like you're intertwined or the same person. Okay, let's talk to... Mr. Nook. Ah, Chris! Having a good time, yes? I know this is all a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. Maybe I'll go do that, Tom. Sounds good to me. But first, you'll probably want this. 
A leaf. It's your very own camping cart. You'll want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. Oh, and there are a few packages in your tent as well. Hmm. Just a few items you might find useful. To open packages and use things inside, press A. And when you're ready, you can move L to go into your bed. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow. So rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes, that, that's all from me now. Sweet dreams, Chris. Okay. Uh, let's go to bed then. And remove what we put up in. There we go. Can I just... There we go. Wow. Ooh, spacious. Uh, okay, we got a radio. Put it in my pocket. We have a lantern. Put it in my pocket. Really? Oh, it's a nice pattern as well. Let's just get our head down for a few wings. Rest my head for a little while? I think I will. I'm getting sleepy. No, looks like you've decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. That's all the right way, daddy -o. You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world does made for exploring, you know. Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah, but take it from a cat, dog, who's been to run the road. Being by a lonesome can grind on the soul. You've got to make friends along the way, rambling this crazy world in Squaresville without some pals. Yeah, man. Friends is where it's at. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Ruff. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, but listen up. That rap I just gave about friends is pretty key. You'll dig this island, life, a whole lot more if you share it with some friends, if that's your scene. Yeah, an island paradise with your best pal sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life. I'll catch you later, Ruff. What was in those oranges, Tom? Gonna wake up when my kidney is missing. Chris! Chris, are you in there? Wake up from your hallucinogenic dream! Oh, I hope I, my shouting hasn't woken you abruptly! But I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes, I'll be right outside your tent when you're ready. Okay, let's go and see what strange things happen on the island today. Ah, yeah, there you are. Ah, there you are! I hope you had a pleasant nap! Oh, well, I suppose it was a bit more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day! The oranges worked! I slept that long? Ho ho ho, yes! It's quite normal to sleep for that long when you've had some of my oranges. It's quite normal to be worn out from such a long trip and a major life event. Speaking of which, I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to life in a little paradise. First, you'll be needing one of these, yes? Ah, smartphone. It's your very own Nook phone. I had these made especially for island residents. Ah, I want to make sure it's working, right? Could you try turning it on for me, hmm? Okay, Boomer. There we go. It's working. Good, good! Looks like you're getting good reception as well! Tom, I explored this whole island and I did not see a cell phone tower anywhere. Okay, feel free to put it away now. No, I'm gonna spend all my time on this phone. Say, Chris, have you ever used a smartphone before? 
I sure have. Very good! Then this should be a breeze for you. In fact, these Nook phones are rather easier to operate than ordinary phones. Oh yes, we simply removed most of the features. Oh. I have one more thing for you. It's your itemized bill. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Here it comes. So, this includes everything. Airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and of course, your Nook phone. Hmm. Bringing your grand total to the modest sum of, um, 49,800 bells. Jesus, man. What the hell are bells, Tom? Oh, 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 good one, Chris. Wait, you're being serious? Yes, uh, of course, I, I can't believe I didn't think of this. Well, bells are a currency that can be exchanged for goods or services here on Retrotopia. But th there's still a problem that you don't actually have any, of course. Well, no need to worry. I was I was prepared for this e exact type of situation. For the getaway package, you can pay your fees with um, miles instead of the standard bells. I call this extremely helpful service um, the, the, the Nook Mileage Program. Uh, Nook Mileage, Tom? Well, it's quite extraordinary if I do say so myself. With the uh, Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles simply by living your life here on Retrotopia. I dare say, the more you enjoy your island life, the more Nook Miles you can earn. And you can use them to pay back your move-in fees and much, much more. So the bottom line is, you need to pay me 49,800 bells to pay your move-in fees, but with this new service, would you believe it? It only comes to 5,000 miles! <laughs> I'm gonna be so rich! I'll just uh, go ahead and register so you can pay me in miles. Yes, yes, but, but there are more details available within your tracker. I mean, Nook phone. Just open the Nook Miles app. And you'll see that you've earned some miles just for traveling to the island and joining the program. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get back to scamming the other residents. I mean, a few other matters I have to do with. But let me heartily congratulate you again on being the first member of my pyramid scheme. I mean, congratulate you on your new arrival. I'm so happy to have you as a resident of my prison. I mean, Retrotopia and a client of Nook Incorporated. Wow. Well. Why are you happy, man? This whole thing is reeks of capitalism. My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want, like pay Tom Nook back the shitload of money I now owe him. Woo! <sighs> okay, everyone, I think that's gonna be it for today. We've, uh played a little bit of time on uh, Tom Nook's capitalist adventure, I mean Animal Crossing New Horizons, and uh, yeah, I've, I'm really enjoying it so far, it's great, and um, make sure you leave a comment down below, let me know if you liked that, whatever I just did, and uh, if you'd like to see more, or if you'd like me to never ever ever do this again, but I fully enjoyed that, and I will definitely, uh, I'll definitely be playing some more, so uh, like, comment, subscribe, I'll catch you in the next one, bye bye.